passes. You want them? We got them. This video is brought to you by me. Crank Game Plays. I wish Zillow would sponsor me. Zillow. <laughs> <laughs> Will you sponsor me and pay off my mortgage? Welcome back, everybody, to one of my favorite websites on the planet, which is Zillow.com. I did a video on looking at houses a while back, so I thought I'd do it again, except I thought we would jump into it in a little bit of a different way. How are we doing it? I will tell you how. We are going through all of the US states and looking at the most expensive houses. We're gonna see what you can get for what in which states and maybe which state has the weirdest stuff in it. I've got a list of states next to me that I'm just gonna scroll through just so I can keep track of what I've done and what I haven't done. We're going in alphabetical order starting with Alabama. We're gonna make it so it's condos and co-ops and houses because we don't we don't want to do like apartment buildings because you can buy entire apartment buildings and we don't want to just do land uh, because once we get into the land then it's like 19 million dollars for a, pot, a plot of land number one alabama luxury homes this one is a whopping eight million nine hundred ninety five thousand dollars 11 bedrooms 12 baths 14 thousand almost fifteen thousand square feet this looks gorgeous and it's on a lake oh my god do the boats come with it so let's round it up to nine mil after after closing it'll probably be over over that it has a boat house it's got a house for your boats two car boat town big old gate Oh boy, oh boy, oh boy. See, I feel like a lot of these houses are gonna be very similar. You got a greenhouse? This reminds me of Harry Potter. That's so cool. I feel like a lot of these houses are gonna look very, very similar, but I think that once we get into the expensive places like New York and California, <laughs> the house is gonna be like $20 million for a two bedroom home. That's 700 square feet. Cause I think in like the south and in the midwest even in parts of the northeast it's gonna be a lot cheaper for a lot more oh my god this bathroom is nuts nuts see that's the thing too and i talked about this in in the last video that i did of zilla stuff is like i feel like this house has has a good amount of character actually but there's so many houses is this a uh, guess how many car garage so that's the garage. Is this a basement? They've got a wine cellar. Damn. We're gonna be moving pretty quickly through here, guys, because there's so many states. This is a house. It is a house. Four million. What the hell? This is so odd to look at. So what do we got here? Three bedroom, three bath for almost four mil. 2,300 square feet. The square footage, actually, that's pretty small. I mean, it's not small, small or anything like that. But for $4 million, three bedrooms, 2,300 square feet. I feel like it is really nice on the inside. See, this has got so much character on the inside. Oh, this is so lovely to look at. I don't know if I would want to live here, live here, though. You know what I mean? Like, I don't, at least for the style for me, I'm not a huge fan of it. It seems like like a lake house kind of home or a cabin in the woods kind of thing, a vacation home. Just because I I couldn't see myself living here. It's very pretty though. Very, very pretty. It does seem like it has a guest house. I feel like you're playing way more for the land. You're on a cliff that looks out on the ocean. You're definitely paying more for locate. You've got your own like private beach, it looks like. Look at, imagine waking up to this. That's why it's 4 million is the location. Do you know what they say, guys? Location, location, location. All right, Alaska, you did good. Time for Arizona. Come here, what do we got? 22 million. <laughs> 22 million dollars. That's crazy that in Alaska, the most expensive home is under 4 million. Seven bed, 14 bathrooms. Let's try and figure this out before we get in. Also 15,000 square feet, holy shit. So seven bedrooms that means seven bathrooms every bedroom has its own bathroom a bathroom in the main area i guess maybe if there's a basement if there's a pool house maybe a bathroom in the pool house maybe they have a gym so a bathroom in the gym maybe a movie theater a bathroom in the movie theater maybe they have a i mean there's so many places you could have a bathroom i guess but double the bathrooms that's a lot of bathrooms dog that's a lot see this kind of house i don't really like it's too 
fancy for me. Like, it's it's like some sort of royalty lives here. I wouldn't want to have people over, you know? This is a weird thing to say, but I think some of you might know what I mean. I would feel embarrassed to bring people over to a house like this because it's so over the top. It's like an it It is. It's an estate. And, like, I... I would feel really weird about having people- I don't know. I would just feel odd. This lot is nuts. I don't like the house, guys. I didn't like the house. I'm gonna be honest with you. All right, we got Arkansas. So I am confusion. Why is this one Kansas, but this one is not Arkansas? America, explain! Explain! What do you mean in Arkansas? What do we got? 12 mil. All right, all right. Is this a house? 18 bedrooms, 21 bathrooms, 11,000 square feet. Is this a... Is this a house? I don't think this is a... Is it a house? I thought at first that it was... What? <laughs> what? <laughs> Hold on. Let's read the description. Directly across the street from Donald W. Reynolds Razorback Football Stadium, this iconic game day destination is known loved by all. Entire property consists of three residential dwellings, private heated pool, two lots, beautifully landscaped. So it's three different residents. So that's why it has so many bedrooms and bathrooms. What is this? Is this off of the pool? So basically you're buying this to be like an apartment building and you just rent off the units. Okay, that one was weird. <laughs> All right, here we go. The big kahuna, guys. California. I'm gonna guess the highest price house is 150 million. 135! Not too bad, guys. Pretty reasonable. <laughs> 23,000 square feet. 34 bedrooms. The f*** are you doing with that kind of space, my guy? Again, like I said in my last video, I guarantee you a family of four lives here. Everybody that has this kind of money... Okay, they only have nine pictures. Boring. Boring. You lost your shot. Despicable. But, you know, it's not... Like, with a place like that, you know. It's not a, a, a giant commune living there. Like, it's a normal-sized family that just happens to have this $135 million home that has 34 bathrooms or bedrooms. Stupid. Colorado. Oh, holy shit, I love it already. Eight bedrooms, 16. Again, why do you need double? 32,000 square feet. Oh, my God. The land, it's so pretty. Oh, and it must look so cool in the wintertime. This is really, really cool looking. See, this is the kind of modern that I really like and appreciate, is that this has so much cool, like, the architecture is really cool. Oh, that's so cool looking in the winter. Again, though, having somebody over at your house with a house like this is like, what? <laughs> you live here? You have this weird spiral? Like, I guarantee this piece of furniture was, like, $40,000 and they don't even sit in it. It's just to look at. That's most rich people shit. You don't even, like, use it. You just kind of look at it. It's just kind of there. Not really a fan of the kitchen, if I'm being honest. Not a... Not a... Not a fan of the interior. See, this seems like a restaurant, and it's weird. The movie room is okay. Except... See, this is another thing, and I think, again, I said this in the last video. Somebody built this movie theater room out just to have a movie theater room. This is not a good way to do this for a couple of reasons. It looks like there's tile on the ceiling, which is really bad. And then the rest of it is a light color when you're doing something. And I don't claim to be an expert or anything. I'm just using my basic knowledge of technology. I would say that I know above average than the normal person, but... When you're building out a cinema room, you're using a projector, which is projecting light onto a screen. So in that room, you don't want to have a bunch of reflective surfaces because the light is going to reflect all of those surfaces. That's why in a movie theater, everything is dark. All the walls are dark. There's no, like, tile and stuff. It's all carpet. That's why, so the light doesn't reflect off of it. And so when you have a tile, a light-colored tile ceiling... That does not seem good for this kind of room. And it's not like it's white walls or anything like that. And at least it looks like it's a carpety, kind of felty material or whatever. But still, it's a light color, which you shouldn't use because the light is going to reflect off of it instead of absorb. I'm just saying, I'm nitpicky right now. I don't like the tile in here. It's dumb looking. I love the outside of this house. The inside of this house, I, I don't like. This is a really cool space, though. I really like the... <gasps> it's an indoor-outdoor pool! Oh! 
for when it gets cold. I like the plants on the inside. That's cool. There's so much space. Look, at did the deer come with the property? Is that the same house? That looks like a different house. Is this a guest house? Hold on. Is this a hibachi grill? I think it is. You have a rock wall in your house and an indoor tennis court? What the f- I think this is- It's like a recreational facility or something. And a prison. What is this room? What the f That's crazy. All right, Colorado. All right, next up we got Connecticut. Connecticut, what you got, baby? 55 mil. What was the last one? I can't remember. Justin, pop it up on screen. Ah, that's what it was. Eight bed, 11 bathrooms, 14,000 square feet. Again, location, 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 guys. It's right by the water. Okay, this is a very Connecticut home. Ooh, I like that room, though. I like the dark colors. This is a very Connecticut, like, fucking rich white person home in Connecticut. That shower looks cool. There's a big bench in that shower that you can sit on. Not my thing, but cool. All right, Delaware. The house? Six million, five bed, six baths, 6,500 square feet. We can do a 3D tour. I love a 3D tour. This is the front. So it's like a beach town house thing. Everything is beach themed. There's so much coral everywhere. The beach home has got to be beach themed for some reason. <sighs> ah, swordfish or marlin or whatever it is on the wall. It's very tacky. I don't like it. This is kind of cool, but also kind of not. I hate these chairs with the wheels on it. I think it's dumb. I hate the art on the wall. First bedroom, yuck. Yucky for so many reasons. Yucky, yucky, yucky. Just really bad. I also hate the floors in this house. I'm being very critical, but I don't like it. This is the laundry room. Okay, look at all those towels. Damn, we got a little porch over here. Cool. Hate the floor in this room. Yep, it's all sea and ocean and beach and nautical themed. I hate it. All right, let's go upstairs, up the weird spiral staircase. I guess it's a good use of space. Oh, you have a car here button to let everybody know when the car is here. Okay. It's ugly. Why do you have a sink over here? What is this? Second floor living room thing. Yeah, I just hate all of it, if I'm being honest. I just, I, did, I really don't like any of it. All right, now we go upstairs, so I'm sure all of the bedrooms are up here. What's the master bedroom looking like? So there was three bedrooms downstairs or something like that? All right, this looks to be a master, if not the master, okay. You got, I don't think this is the master. I don't think so, I don't think it's, I don't think it's big enough. I think this is the master, this is the master over here. This is another room, another big room. See, the kids stay downstairs, the adults stay upstairs. Okay, this is the master. Oh, yeah, baby. The master bedroom. Look at this. Oh, my God. You got a couch in your room. That's how you know it's the master bedroom. And they got a tub. Cool. I don't like it. Next up is Florida. Everybody's favorite state. Here we go. Florida, I feel like 65 million. Ooh, nope. 95. Do you get your own island? Are you buying an island? Are you buying an island? No, you can't be. Can't be. Just 10 minutes by helicopter. <laughs> All right. <laughs> yeah, cool. I think you get the whole fucking island. Do you get the whole island? No, there's multiple houses on here. Okay. You get a little private beach area. You get, what's the 10 bed, 14 bath, 5,000 square feet. Okay, you get a pool, a classic Florida looking pool. I don't really like these kind of looking houses, really. There's just not a good flow here. You know, I hate tile on the inside unless it's a bathroom or a kitchen. I really do. I hate the interior of this house. I hate it. I can't even tell you how much I hate it. It's awful. It's really, really awful. There's no cohesive flow. It's bad. Georgia. There we go. Right above. 15 million. Five bed, 10 bath, 11,000 square feet. It's a Spanish style home. Okay. Okay, okay. Nice big front yard. This looks like a place where, like, like, I don't, I don't even know. This is a weird space and I don't like it. It's too open. I, I'm getting really weird vibes from this place. And I really like that. I, I really don't like that a bunch of the pictures are different sizes. It seems like it's out of a different time, but not far enough out of a different time. And that's why I'm uncomfortable with it. 
like this weird like 32 inch television that's wall mounted in these built-ins it's like a home that was built in like 2003 you know what i mean by like it's out of a different time but not far enough so it feels weird hated that hated that place didn't like it all right hawaii here we go 35 million baby six bed eight bath ten thousand square feet right on the beach right on the salty shores mm. kind of like a a bungalow kind of i don't know what a bungalow is <laughs> i don't know why i said that i don't know what a bungalow is that bathtub's sick i like how how open airy this this place is i do like that it feels like a, a resort this doesn't feel like a home like th this doesn't feel like a home it feels like a weird resort restaurant thing i know i'm going fast but that's kind of what i gotta do idaho 27 million look at the view an infinity pool <sighs> Ooh, I like this place. This is cool. This is cool. Okay, okay. Ooh, could have horses? Oh, very mountain home. But again, not a place that I think I'd want... Well, like... It's a it's a very niche aesthetic. Um, Very much an acquired taste. I wouldn't want to live here. I'd vacation here for sure. It's incredibly beautiful. I wouldn't want to live here, though. I wouldn't want to live here. Like, I'm not a fan of the rusty trumpet on the wall. Or is that a bugle? I don't know. I don't know what the difference is. Ooh, shuffleboard. I do love shuffleboard. I do love a good game room. Mmm, fortress safes. Okay, so they got they got a bunch of guns in there. But that's what you're doing out in Idaho. What else is... This is weird. I don't like the row of beds. This reminds me in the Fellowship of the Ring where the ring wraiths go into the, the prancing pony um, and they think that they're about to kill the, 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 the hobbits and they don't. This is what this room reminds me of in a way. I think it's just a bunch of bunk beds, even though they weren't even bunk beds, but it just reminds me. If I slept in here, I would think that I would be killed by the Nazgul. That's all I have to say. Do we want to look through the rest of the photos? Quick glance here, a bunch of farm stuff. It's an acquired taste, folks. You get tractors? Illinois! Okay. Okay. We're on another level here. Six bed, 11 bath, 25,000 square feet. See, I feel like with a place like this, 25,000 square feet, and it's only six bedrooms, I feel like that's a weird use of space. But what are we defining as a bedroom? You know, is this technically a bedroom? I don't know. Like, there's so many rooms that are for other things. When you get to this level, what defines a bedroom? Because how many rooms in that house are there? I, I don't know. Indiana, 17 million. I think this is just a lot. Which I, yeah. It's just a, just a, well, I don't know what this is. <laughs> what? Once in a lifetime opportunity. Lake Max and Cucky. Frontage with Sandy Bottom, a private channel, and an island in the channel. Plus or minus 22 wooded acres and one home, one cottage, and four cabins combined with plus or minus 57, 34 square feet. I mean, that seems pretty accurate. I don't, I would say 50, 700 square feet or 5,000 square feet or 6,000 square feet, not plus or minus 5,734 square feet. That's a little too precise. <laughs> Located on the beautiful East Shore. Okay, so you do get all that stuff. That's weird. Let's go to Iowa. Mm. 9.9. .9. This has interesting architecture. Look at the big bulbous boy out there. Look at that. Oh, interesting driveway right on the... the... What am I looking at? This looks like a hotel lobby. There's a sitting area and a bar. I'm sure the, like, the, the concierge is over here. Something. There's a dude playing piano all the time. This is not a house. This is so weird. I don't like how dark all of these rooms are. It's a little odd. Uh, uh, what's this meeting? This, why do you have a conference room in your house? You have like a kitchen kitchen. I mean, I guess at this point, you probably have people cooking for you all the time. What is this? What actually, what is that? Is that a kiln? I think that's a kiln. What is this? Oh, is it a kiln? And then these are pottery table things that spin? Cinema room's pretty good. See, they did it right. No tile, dark colors, good stuff. Cup holders everywhere. That's nice. Interesting approach with the with the aspect ratio for the, the screen. 
because you're probably only going to be watching movies, but it does limit you if you're ingesting other content. See, why do you have a bar bar like this? When are you going to have this many people over? I feel like it's going to feel so lonely all the time. You have a state. Like, do you have bands come over and play? What is this room? Uh, this is weird. This is so weird. So odd. Iowa, that was weird. That made me feel uncomfortable. Kansas. We'll go to this first house. Five mil. Spirit of Avalon. Got some fountains. It's just... Oh, it's carpet. It's just weird carpet. It's really open. Oh, well, okay. So there's a big screen there. Still really open. Kind of odd. And there's no coffee table or anything, was there? No, can you not put anything anywhere? It's like a weird bedroom. Why are all these houses so odd? It is kind of cool that they have like a library. Full wine cellar. There's never going to be more than three bottles of wine in there. You got a pond. Okay. Dragon doors? <laughs> what are these places? Like who, do, why do you have a turret? Like, who designs these? It's just weird. I like the koi pond. Koi pond is kind of cool. Is that a pool? Is that, a, do you just have a lake? What, like, actually though, like, what is this? Is there fish in there and stuff? Whoa, that's pretty cool, actually. That's pretty, that's actually pretty sick. I don't like that. What is this? Is that like a, a bunker? What is, is that just all the power? Why did they include that? Interesting, interesting, interesting. All right, Kentucky. 7.2 mil, four bed, four bath. We really gotta start cruising through these. You have your own cemetery. I would feel uncomfortable moving in here, you know? Like if it was a family home and this is my family, I would still feel a little bit uncomfortable, but, but I get it. But moving in to where other people are buried is a little odd. You do have a full horse stable. Damn, dude. That's pretty cool. All right, Louisiana, here we go. Louisiana, right down here. What do we got? 16 mil, six beds, 11 bathrooms, 15,000. This is a weird home. Oh, oh, I hate the tile everywhere. I hate the tile everywhere. It's so bright and white and like, it just, can you imagine living here? Is this the closet? It's like a whole JC Penny. What the f who? Whoa, whoa, whoa. That's big. That's a big soup. This bathroom is weird. It feels like a big hallway that they just put a tub in. They have a movie theater, but with like a little ticket thing out front. That's kind of cute, actually. But I mean, all right, here we go. My home state, Maine. What do you got, Maine? Ah, Bahaba. Bahaba, bud. All right. Bahaba. This is very much like a super rich person main house for sh for sure a lot of the like new england big rich houses have the same kind of vibe like this is kind of like connecticut a little bit and i'm sure massachusetts and it's a big old house i wonder if there's anything for sale in my hometown this is a church it's a house what the f i know where this is this is a house but it's a church. Why would, what? It is a church. Hold on, it's a church church. Oh, what? All right, Maryland. Ooh, a chill 25 mil. Here we go. This, uh, uh. again, I don't like the vibes from this place. It just feels weird. It just feels weird. Like how many rooms do you need to sit in? You know? <laughs> how, many, how many rooms are you gonna sit in? Think about how much it must cost to furnish places like these. Even if you're just getting like Ikea furniture, like it would cost so much money, but they're not doing it with Ikea furniture. Cool, a bunch of cars. They're not, they're getting like insane pieces of furniture where it's like a chair is 10 grand. Massachusetts, 45 million, here we go. Yep, it's a, it's a Boston penthouse kind of deal. It is pretty cool. Uh, actually, uh, gets a lot of light, which I really like. I like a lot of light. But I, could, I just couldn't imagine living here. What a weird place. 
8 bed, 12 bath. All right, Michigan. All right, 7, 10, 16,000 square feet. All right, right on Lake Michigan. Is it? I don't, I have no idea. Is that Lake, I'm assuming maybe Lake Superior? I don't know. It's a lake in Michigan, so it has to be Lake Michigan, doesn't it? Got an outdoor fireplace. You got your own little river. Uh-huh. Very tall ceilings. How tall are those ceilings? Like 25 feet tall. Got the spiral staircase. You got... What is that? I don't like that. Gave me bad vibes. Gave me bad vibes. And... It's a house. Cool. <laughs> All right, Minnesota. Whoa, it's a vagina. <laughs> whoa, whoa, being in that room. Whoa, whoa, whoa. There's a lot going on here. There's a vagina again. What's up with this house? This vaginal themed house. Whoa, that elevator. That's crazy. Interesting. I don't like the the bathtub in the middle of the room. It's very odd. This room is cool. Whoa. It's got that gaming chair. Again, though. Feels kind of like a hotel. That was wild, dude. Mississippi? 7.9 million. I feel like this house isn't going to be too, too crazy. It's weird on the inside. It's odd. Okay. It's, okay. We got trees in the back. We got floating beds. What's in there? You have your own, like, saloon looking thing? That's actually kind of cool looking from the outside. This just, fe this doesn't feel like it's the same place. You have a playground, that's cool. Missouri! You got two little dogs up front. Got a big old lake. It's so ugly on the inside. It's so ugly. I'm so sorry if any of you live in any of these houses and I'm just bashing them, but it's just so ugly. And this, I feel like, like that doesn't look like a big screen. You know what I mean? And it's all Disney themed. Interesting. If you're gonna build out a movie theater, I would... Wouldn't you want the screen to be as big as possible? It feels like some parts of this house are like neglected too. And it's like some parts are like really crazy and some are just like very, very normal. Weird home. Weird home. Montana? Do they have things in Montana? What's in Montana? $28 million house from in Montana. Wow, that is an unbelievable amount of land. What's the square footage of a lot? 3,700 acres? Almost six square miles of land? <laughs> what? What? <laughs> it must be a bitch to go and get groceries, huh? What the hell? That is insane. I mean, the house itself is, like, pretty beautiful. It's nothing, like, insane insane like these other houses. As far as the interior goes, it's very pretty. Again, not really my style. But you get six square miles. What? So this is 3,700 acres? That's like blowing my mind more than any of these other houses. 3,700 acres? Wow! You own like a large portion of the state, I feel like. Okay, Nebraska. Okay, this is just farmland. <laughs> All right, bye, Nebraska. Wait, this is... Oh, this is a bunch of houses. Okay. All right, Nebraska. That's that's all I'm giving you. All right, Nevada. 48 million. What? Where is this? I didn't know they had water in Nevada. Whoa. That's crazy. You put a big rock in your house. That's nutty. Got a guest house. Got your own beach. Where is this? What? Glenbrook, Nevada. Okay. New Hampshire. I'm, I know I'm going very fast, but you know, gotta get through all of them. All right, Northampton. Yeah, this looks like a very, again, a very New England home. Yeah, nothing, nothing, nothing super special here. I'm just flipping through it to see if there's anything like crazy interesting. New Jersey. What is this? What is this? To live. What a weird place to live. You live in a weird castle. New Mexico. Whoa. Whoa, this is odd. Canyon Blanco Ranch. What is this? 10 bed, 11 bathrooms. 6,000. 6,000 acres? <laughs> so it's 10 square miles? 
Again, you're really paying for the land on this one. All right, New York. This one's going to be in New York City for sure, right? I'm assuming. Oh, it's not. 100 million. So, so far, the, the most expensive place has been 135 million, which was in California. Which I don't think that's going to be top. Because I think California would be the most expensive state to live in. Again, pretty meat and potatoes as far as big crazy houses go. North Carolina. So we got 100 million and then 10. So big difference in price there. 1,600 acres. So that's a ton of land, obviously. The house does not look like it's worth 10 million dollars, though. North Dakota. House. It's a, it's a half. Ohio. Got a... Uh, it's a cool looking house, actually. It's pretty cool. I don't mind this. Uh, it's a little odd. It's a little bit odd, but I don't mind it. Oklahoma, where the... It is... This looks crazy. Again, I know I'm going very fast, but I've been recording for almost an hour, finding the most expensive houses in every single state, and they all start to blend together and look a little bit of the same, you know? What? This is an insane entrance to a house. Oregon, 65 million. 40,000 acres of land? How do you even know if people are trespassing? I didn't think we were gonna pass the... Th when I saw 3,700 acres, I was like, damn, there you go. 40,000 acres of of land and then you get a three bedroom two bathroom <laughs> what the? that's insane all right this is in pennsylvania it's a penthouse in philly big old penthouse in philly it's nothing special to me rhode island smallest state even has 45 acres of land that's insane i love this color green love this color green love it nice nice that's a cool house actually i like that house I like that house. South Carolina, 14 mil. Easy peasy. Easy peasy. How much land do you get? 4,400 acres. Look, and turkeys hug there. That's crazy. Oh, this is sad now. <laughs> it's sad. I'm getting out. <laughs> South Dakota. Give it to me. You know, I've seen everything at this point, you know? This is just land, I think. 26,000 acres. A cool 26,000 acres. What do we got in Tennessee? The longest state. I don't know. It's not true. I think this is just land again. No, it's a house. That's a cool looking house, actually. You get a big bar for all your aminals. I'm rushing through this. Texas, everything's bigger in Texas. Prove it to me. This house isn't, there's no house there. This house is cool. I don't like it. <laughs> this is a cool looking house, actually. I do actually like that. There, you don't really see much of the house, except for the garage, apparently. I don't like the interior at all. Look at how many washers and dryers they had. Wow. A lot of clothes. Vermont, 11 million. That is so pretty. Oh my God, during the winter time. Wow. Very pretty. I. Is this just in, where is this in the house? Is this just like in the living room? That just looked like it was, where, what? What a weird, it is. Look, it's the circle up there. Why would you put a bed there? That's weird. Don't be weird. That's weird. Virginia. <sighs> I don't like this house. That spiral staircase hurts my eyes. I don't like it. I don't like it. We're rushing through the last four states. Washington, West Virginia, Wisconsin, Wyoming. Here we go. Washington. I think this is just going to be land. No, it's a house. It's a, it's a really nice house. It's not, it's, a, it's fairly quaint. You still have a wine cellar, but I mean, as far as the houses that we've looked at go, you get a lot of land, you get a big old workshop, big old barn. Location, location, location! West Virginia. Already don't like it. Ooh, yuck. Ooh, yuck. Ah, whoa, 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 whoa! <laughs> what are you doing, buddy? That is loud. Loud room. Did not like, didn't like it. I'm not against a pink room. I just don't want a hot pink room hate all of the wallpaper if I'm being honest with you. Was that Peppa the Pig? No, it, w <laughs> it wasn't. <laughs> all right, Wisconsin. Big house. Big horse. Looks boring. And finally, 
The last one, Wyoming. Three bed, five baths. This is concept art for this house. We only get concept art. But I like it. It's pretty cool. Do you get your own airport? Do you get your own airport? I think you get your own airport. Do you have to fly into this place? I think you have to fly into this place. Who are you? Who are you? Is this a painting? Do you get a plane? What's happening? This guy looks real. Oh, her smile is creeping me out. This guy looks like a painting. Who are you? What is this? Why do all these people look fake, but some of them... So what do I get? It's cool in theory, but that's all it is, is a theory. A house theory! Well, guys, that was the most expensive houses in all 50 states. That took a lot longer than I thought. Let me know what your favorite house was in the comments below. Let me know what state was your favorite. So thank you guys so much for watching. Hope you enjoyed. If you did, make sure to slap that like button right in the face. And I will see you guys in the next video. Love you all. Stay cranky. Bye. What is that, like, cranky?